Okay, I've got four examples here that should demonstrate how to do changing recurring decimals to fractions. The first one, 0.4 recurring, because it's one digit recurs, we times by 10. So if we call the 0.4 recurring x and we times by 10, we end up with 4.4 recurring. And then when we subtract these, we get 9x, we subtract those, all the 4s cancel, to leave it was just with 4 taking away 0, which is 4. So 9x equals 4, so x equals 4 ninths. So 0.4 recurring is 4 ninths. When we've got two digits recurring, we've got 0.54 recurring here, um, we times by 100. Because essentially what we want to do is move the number through the decimal point two places to realign the recurring part so that when we subtract it, it's going to disappear. So when I subtract these two things, I get 99x. I subtract these two, I get 54. So x equals 54 over 99. So that's the two simple cases. We could carry this on and do three digits where we times by 1,000 or four digits recurring times by 10,000 and so on. It's all about lining up the digits. If we've got a slightly different variation where we've got an extra bit in the front, if it's one digit recurring we still can get away with just times it by 10 to get 3.7 recurring. And when we subtract those we get 9x equals 3.4. So x equals 3.4 over 9, which is a bit strange because there's a decimal there, but to get rid of the decimal we just times by 10 to get 34 over 90, and we could cancel that down a bit further. And if we have two digits recurring with an extra thing in there, then because it's two digits we still times by 100, and uh, that will allow the numbers to eventually realign, and this section will all be cancelled. So we get 100 take away, 1x is 99x, take those two away and we're going to get 81.3 and so x equals 81.3 over 99. To make it a proper fraction we times by 10 and if we can we cancel but I don't think we can there. And that's it.